Hey, what's up? Pizza Wolfing Nerd here. Today, I will be showing doing a Linux app showcase on a program called Webpin. Now, Webpin is only a, available on the Elementary App Center. How, however, I guess you can go to the GitHub page and uh, compile it from source, but realistically, you have to be running Elementary for this. So, um, yeah, <laughs> this is Webpin. Um, maybe there's a dev file. No, there isn't just... Um, they might make a flat pack in the future because a lot of elementary apps use flat packs, but for now it's only available in elementary. So basically, what WebPin allows you to do is make your own PWAs or progressive web apps. So if you just hit create app, you can choose an icon or um, set, do do it from your icon theme. Now I'm gonna be making a basic YouTube app just to show you. Now you can do YouTube. And now, um, for the domain, we'll do youtube.com. I believe it has to be https. Yeah, so https youtube.com. Now, from here, you can customize it a little bit. So you can save cookies, save login info, run in background if closed, or use middleware UI. Now, I'm going to be saving cookies and saving login info. You can also change the color or whatever. So, yeah. And then for... You can also choose an icon theme, so, uh, uh, unfortunately mine doesn't have one, but we'll just use the standard web pin icon for now. So, uh, let's hit, uh, hold on, I'm gonna choose an icon. Alright, so I just downloaded a pretty dope icon for YouTube, so now I can just go in the set as file and then get the icon here. And then hit save app. So now, as you can see, YouTube's listed here. I can customize it if I want to. And I can delete it. Now we are going to open the YouTube app we just made and see how it looks. So as you can see, the title bar right now is red. And yeah, it looks pretty nice actually. So I'm just going to log into my Google account. Alright, so I'm logged into uh, my Google account, which means I can get notifications and stuff. Now I'm just going to watch a simple video. It appears to use Empithony as the browsing engine. And I know that because uh, Empithony has kind of buggy with YouTube where stuff like this happens with blacks, the black stuff. But it's still a pretty, pretty cool idea. Now uh, you can also run in the background if closed just by clicking this background. So if I close it now, it should still be running in the background, although it doesn't look like it. Um, and copy URL, we can go back, forward, and home. So it's pretty, kind of like a web browser. Now, I'm going to close this. Now, let's go into some of the customization options. Now, let's look at the minimal UI here. See what that looks like. And that, this is just straight up YouTube. It doesn't have the back, forward buttons or anything. Now, I'm guessing that the color here just changes the color of the menu bar, so I'm just going to do, uh, I'll just do black and hit save. So, there we go. Now I got a black YouTube thing. I'm just going to do that for most of my web pages, but black YouTube title bar. So, yeah, and then I could put on the dark theme. Actually, I could just set... This is the same as the dark theme, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, I got a nice YouTube client here. So, pretty cool. And if I wanted to, I could make one for Reddit too. I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I made a couple adjustments. One, I set up Reddit, and two, I made the window border match YouTube's dark theme. So as you can see, this window border is the same color as the top bar for YouTube. Anyways... Now I'm opening up Reddit, which I also did the same thing. I went onto Reddit's dark theme and checked it out. Now let me just sign in and uh, enable the dark theme really quickly. So there we go, now I have the dark theme. So now I have a nice Reddit client on my computer here, using WebPin. Now this is one of the features I like about Peppermint OS a lot. The fact that, you know, uh, this is a pretty nice feature of Peppermint OS, um, but... Peppermint OS doesn't really feel modern to me. Now what WebPin does is it brings the 
ICE feature from Peppermint OS over to Elementary OS. So now I have a nice Reddit client here. And, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this stupid video. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one.